Sitting in a dry dock under crisp blue skies is a painful reminder of one of South Korea's darkest days. Three years ago, the Chonan warship was patrolling disputed waters when at 9.22 p.m. on the 26th of March, it was hit by a North Korean torpedo. The 1,200-ton vessel sank, killing 46 sailors, almost half the crew on board. It hurts so much to see this, the damage, the lives lost, says 82-year-old Ok Sun Choi. I can't believe North Korea did this to us when we share the same identity. Standing beneath the wreckage of the Chonan, you really get a sense of the power of the explosion. Navy officials say the torpedo hitting the ship was like 4,000 grenades going off at the one time. Now, the vessel split in less than two seconds, but it would take two and a half hours for the entire vessel to sink. North Korea denied responsibility for the attack, but an international investigation would point the finger directly at Pyongyang. The, the provocations from North Korea is very severe. So this is a very important uh, national security tour for all the Korean people. And for the tourists who visit the naval base of Second Fleet Command, where the Chonan has been resurrected, it's not only time to reflect, but focus on the current crisis facing the Korean Peninsula and the region. We need to prevent the situation from getting out of hand. No one wants war, says Wa Sung Park. But people need to stop being indifferent. They need to care more because this is serious. While the sinking of the Chonan was one of the deadliest attacks since the end of the Korean War, South Korea chose not to retaliate, fearing disastrous consequences for the entire peninsula. But the country's new president, Park Geun-hye, and her government have warned that if there is any provocation from the north, South Korea will respond with force many times over. As tensions continue to rise, these young soldiers south of the border remain on high alert, mindful that a miscalculation on either side could have dire consequences. Anna Corrin, CNN, Pyeongchang, South Korea.